Good morning, everyone. I wish you Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from all of us at Sunset Ministry, and Merry Christmas from the Mann family. That's myself, my daughter Tiffany, my son Gerald, my daughter Flora, and my two granddaughters, Maya and Jasmine. We wish you a blessed and Merry Christmas. And we want you to know that Jesus has come just to speak into your life, that you may celebrate him this day. This is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas, and we get to wake up and celebrate that. Tonight, children all over the world will go to sleep wondering, what, is I, what am I going to get from Santa Claus? What am I going to receive for Christmas? Well, in all of the present giving, in all of the things surrounding Christmas, we don't want to miss Jesus. Because Jesus, as is said often, is the reason for the season that we celebrate him. And so my prayer for you again is that this year you will not miss Emmanuel, but you will see him as active in your daily lives. I'm going to read you a story. The story was sent to me several years ago about Christmas, and the title of it is Teach the Children. Because with all of the emphasis on Santa Claus, Père Noel, Father Christmas, all of those names that we go with Santa Claus. It's good to know who Santa Claus is, the real Santa Claus. But more importantly, that as we come to Christmas, we realize all of the things that bear witness of who Jesus is and why he has come. And so, as I read this, I want you to pay attention and understand just what it is God is saying. Because he has sent his son in every symbol <clears throat> Every icon of Christmas represents who Jesus is. So understand, <clears throat> it begins with the colors. The first color of Christmas is white, and it symbolizes the virgin birth and the sinless nature of Jesus. Teach the children. Red, the second color of Christmas. Red is deep and intense and vivid is the color of the life-giving blood of Jesus that flows through our veins. It is a symbol of God's greatest gift for us, that Christ gave his life and shed his blood that we might have eternal life. Understand and teach the children that when they see the color of red, they should remind them of that wonderful gift. The next is green. You can't miss green. You have the Christmas trees and all of the stately evergreens that grow, even the artificial ones. They are green, and its unchanging color represents the hope of eternal life in Jesus. Each of the needles point heavenward to remind us that our thoughts should always be turned heavenward because of what Jesus has done for us. Evergreen, the hope of eternal life. Teach the children. Show them. Take a moment. And then, of course, <clears throat> there's the star. The star is the heavenly sign of promise, that God promised a Savior to the world. And it was a, the star was a sign of the fulfillment of his promise. Men followed that star for months because they wanted to see the fulfillment of God's promise. And so we look heavenward to know that the star always represents Jesus. And then, too, don't forget the angels, because several people have angels on top of their trees. The angels go before. We see four instances of angels there. The first one is the angel talking to Mary. Mary, this is going to happen. The second is the angel talking to Joseph. Joseph, this is of God. The third is the angel that goes to talk to the shepherds. Behold, this night, born in Bethlehem, go see the Savior. And then the fourth one is the angels that sing and proclaim the glory of God as Jesus is being born. So when they see angels, remind them that the angels spoke the word that Christ is coming. And then there's a whole idea of bells, silver bells. Just as lost sheep are guided safely by the sound of a bell, when we hear those bells ringing today, it's guiding us to Jesus to remind us 
that Jesus is our shepherd, the one who calls us home, the shepherd who gave his life for us, the sheep. Take a moment and teach the children. Next is the candle. The glow of the candle represents how man can show his thanks to God for the gift of Jesus that God sent to us. Teach the children to follow in Christ's footsteps. Why? Because Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Remember, Isaiah tells us the people who walk in darkness will see a great light that is symbolized by the cam candle as it glows and shows us and reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world who's come for us that we may understand him and know him to lead us out of darkness into light. Teach the children. The next, of course, is the wreath. <clears throat> I was in Costco a few days ago and they were selling wreaths made up in, which, were, which were very beautiful and wonderful. But understand the wreath and all of its fragrance and greenery show us again the bond of perfection which is God's love as it is a circle. And that circle is the unending love of God. It contains the colors of red, green, and white that help us understand, again, the intent of God's purpose to give us eternal life with Him. And most have a nice bow attached. and The, <clears throat> the bow shows us the gold, <laughs> the royalty of Christ as it is wrapped around that wreath, reminds us of Christ's sacrifice. But it is his royalty. Its shape is symbolic of eternity, the eternal nature of God's love for us. Take a moment. Teach the children. Show them the bow, the ornaments, the lights in that wreath that help them understand and know Christ. Then there's a ubiquitous candy cane. Now, some years ago, a candy maker decided he needed something to celebrate Christ. So what did he come up with? He came up with a candy cane. Now, this guy just made it. He says, I want it to be white to show the pure virgin birth of Christ, his sinless nature. I want it to be hard because it symbolizes the solid rock of Christ, the foundation of our faith the foundation of who we are. It's formed in the shape of a J. A J to remind us of Jesus, his name. You turn it around, it's a shepherd's crook. It reminds us that Jesus is our shepherd. But either way, shepherd's crook or J, it reminds us that Jesus is the one who's come for us, that we may know and understand him because he is our good shepherd. Originally, the candy cane had three small stripes. These stripes represent the scourging of Jesus. Remember, by his stripes we are healed. And then there's a large red stripe that would run through it. This again represents the shed, the shed blood of Jesus and how we have the promise of eternal life. And occasionally, you'll find candy canes with a green stripe, again, which is a reminder that Jesus is the gift to us from God to bring us eternal life. But then too, there's more. <laughs> the flavor of candy canes is typically peppermint, which is sim similar to hyssop. And hyssop is in the mint family and was used in the Old Testament for purification of sacrifices. The peppermint is to remind us that Jesus is the pure, sinless Lamb of God who came to forgive us of our sins. Everything, every icon about Christmas, the colors, the tree, the star, the angels, the bells, the candles, the candy cane, are all there to remind us of why Jesus came. My friends, Teach the children. Some of you have older children like I do. Teach your grandchildren. Remind your children of what God has done. Because Christmas is more than just Père Noel. 
It is more than just Santa Claus. It is more than Father Christmas. It is more than the giving of gifts. It is the receiving of the gift God has given us in his precious son, Jesus. Be blessed today, my dear friends, and know that the Father wants you to have a Merry Christmas. Be blessed and know that his son, this day, was born for you and me. Amen.